just taking advantage of the uh, lovely lighting and the mirrors uh, in the gym this morning. So I'm just uh, going to video you a, a little uh, snippet of how you can uh, mobilise your body uh, in the morning. So uh, I always say it's very easy to uh, remember uh, all body parts if you start from the top and work your way down. Or maybe you would work with your, from your feet and on your way up. Uh, it doesn't really matter as long as you go through the hot body. So it's important that you're feeling nice and warm before you start any workout. Um, obviously make sure you are well in yourself and that you haven't got any injuries at all. Always keeping that uh, core super super strong when we're starting, feet about hip, hip width apart. And it's a nice idea to just gently tuck that tailbone under to make sure that the spine is nice and long. Um, and this day, this day and age, I know there's a lot of stress uh, out, a lot of people feeling um, uncertain what's going to be happening, so um, a little bit of stress relief, yes, yeah, so just take a deep breath in, maybe put your hands around your ribcage here, and then gently release, breathing out, and instantly we feel um, a relief as we start using the breath the right way. So try and avoid using your shoulders up and down, try and just feel how your ribcage is moving in and out of your hands. And it's a real good idea to incorporate the breath, not just when you're doing Pilates, in everyday life. Uh, I really do use it as a stress relief. So take another deep breath in together. And a full breath out. And then gently open your eyes. Release those arms down, and I was we're in the zone, yeah. So we are ready to um, to get into uh, that workout now. So we're going to get nice and warm, starting from the top today, working my way down. So just a little release on the neck, just gently bring the ear to the shoulder, and if you want to go maybe a little bit deeper, not too soon, but it is an option. So just gently flex your hand and press. Press it down towards the floor to feel that stretch a little bit deeper into the side. And then gently bring that head up and then tilt and go across to the other side. Pressing the hand down if you want to go that little bit deeper. And let's face it, lots of tension, lots of stress is ending up in our shoulders, in the neck. So these are such easy little releases that we can do. Um, maybe stand up from your desk job, maybe stop. Have a little break if you're driving, lots, um, and just release that tension, and you'll feel so so much better. Well done. Just bringing the head up and just gently looking over your shoulder. So just every time you work on your neck, you want to make sure it's slow and controlled movements, nothing jerky, nothing too fast. And just gently bringing the head back and then across to the other side. And it's obviously an option of doing some rotations here as well not people not everybody's fan a fan of the rotation so i'm going to leave those out today but there is obviously an option that you could do that as well so just gently bringing the head back and i want you to just tuck your chin in and just feel that stretch across the back of your neck for a moment and try and keep the rhythm of your breath now breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth and let's gently bring that head back up and coming down to the shoulders um, just gently rotating bring one hand on top of your shoulder making sure your core is nice and strong rotating and starting to reflect if there's anything going on in that shoulder at all and then going the same on the other side just gentle rotations and there's lots going on normally there's lots of creaks and cracks that we can hear. We're going to try and go backwards and just try and involve the chest a little bit more. So maybe open and lift and squeeze a little bit more between your shoulder blades. And feel how that feels into the shoulder. And then same on the other side. So staying quite grounded and strong with your feet. Into the floor, lifting your toes to engage into your core early on. Right then, we're going to try some full rotations, so just start with that right arm, try and stay strong and still in the rest of your body without locking the elbow out, keeping that arm to the side of your head, side of your ear, and feel how that feels. And then same on the other side, and you might find that there's an imbalance, you might find that it's um, a lot easier on one side. And then try and go backwards. Keeping the ear again, sorry, not the ear, keeping the arm close to your ear, I should say. And 
they're the same on the other side. So these are just easy mobilising exercises that you could do. We use these in class every so often. Um, most of the time I tend to map moves together and make them into a sequence, make them a little bit more interesting. But this is for you to remember to, um, to do at home. Okay, we're going to involve the back a little bit more so if I turn to the side. So strong throughout the centre and then bring your arms forward pushing your shoulder blades apart, looking down into the floor. This is such a great, great mobilizer for the back and then opening up coming the other way. So it's mobilizing back and spine, then when we come back here, we want to open up a little bit more and um, feel how we can release tension in that upper body. Yeah? Everything is so close these days. Just releasing, well done. And then maybe you just want to reach up from side to side. There's no right or wrong here really guys, okay? It's just being sensible, keeping good posture, um, and then working from top to toe. And then as you start to get a little bit more confident, as uh, so you get a little bit more awareness of your body, maybe you can be a little bit more adventurous with those moves. So this is just a, a very basic mobilizing warm-up. Maybe you feel a bit stiff, just woken up, maybe you're doing too much gardening over the weekend, or anything else, I don't know. Um, and then this might just feel nice to wake you up. Yeah, you can maybe slide gently side to side and just try and move in all different directions. Yeah, the body is not always moving forwards and back. Yeah, we need to try and work in all three planes. Um, and that's why that's one of the messages really from Fitness Pilates. Yeah, we're working three planes. Okay, excellent. So we're going to extend those arms all the way up and we're going to come to a roll down. So lift your toes, bring your arms down. Tuck your chin and tip far on the hip and then come all the way down. And you can just draw up the head heavy here, feel how it feels, stretching across the back of your body. Feeling that length and that good stretch. Well done, bending it slightly as we roll up and just resetting those shoulders. Well done. And then from here we're just going to gently rotate the um, hips. So working our way down just loosening up a little bit, making sure everything is connected still and then changing that direction. Well done. Excellent. Some um, knee lifts, just gently lifting one leg at a time just to release into the hips and see how that feels into your, um, into your back. You can incorporate uh, opposite dog if you want, just a gentle lift. Also, if you're lifting the leg with your hand and bringing that hand and arm no higher than your shoulder. One more time each side and then we're going to come back to the roll down and we're going to add some rotation. So extending up, coming down, tucking that chin again, tipping from the hip and coming all the way down. And again you've got the option of holding here or gently rotating around the feet and that's releasing the back really nicely. It's nice well done, bending those knees and then coming back up again, resetting those shoulders and coming into a little leg brush this time. So just brushing that right leg forwards and back, challenging your balance a little bit if you want, hold on to a wall or maybe you can add in your arms. And then maybe go across into a little pendulum, make sure you don't lock the knee out, maintaining good posture, lengthening through the crown of your head. And then maybe you want to try some rotations and I always try and get those rotations to come from the hip area to help them loosen up. So belly button is tucked towards the back of your spine and then try and rotate and go the other way. And then shake it out and then same on the other side. So just gently brushing forwards and back. Challenging coordination slightly, balance is involved, core very much engaged there, well done. Try the uh, pendulum, so we lead with the heel, making sure we don't uh, lock that knee out. And a lot of people complain that the standing leg is getting achy in this position. Uh, just come out of it, shake the legs out and then come back in when you're ready again. They're all different, okay? No pain, no gain doesn't really work in Pilates. Um, and then try those rotations on this side. So this is commonly a, a mobilising um, warm-up that I will do in a class, okay? Uh, it's a very good start for somebody that's never done Pilates before. So just warming the body uh, from top to toe, making sure 
uh, all body parts have been involved and moved. Well done. So we also got a little release left to do on our feet. I'd like to incorporate the feet as much as I can. So just do a little point and a flex, point and a flex, really engaging into the ankle. And then we do some rotations going one way and then going the other way. And then come back and then same on the other side. So a good point and a flex and a point and a flex. And we do use some equipment in class. Uh, tennis ball is very, very useful. Um, a lot of people suffer with plantar fasciitis, okay? Um, just a stubborn pain in the heel or around the foot area. I actually suffered from it myself um, a while back, um, but I have managed to cure it now. Uh, rolling on a tennis ball is very, very effective. And obviously, if you want some more advice on that, I'm very happy to help. So, um, thank you. I hope you feel a little bit looser in the back. So, like I say, this is a, an ideal beginner's little routine to mobilise the back and to start to um, feel a bit more confident uh, and also to get to know your body a little bit better. And then from here, you just build, you can make into sequences um, and you can challenge your body a little bit more. So um, keep tuning in and um, I will go through small snippets, um, probably 10 to 15 minute workouts with you. That's ideal for you to do at home or at your leisure. Um, so I hope you enjoy that and enjoy the rest of your day. Speak to you soon.